Hello everyone, this is Powell Ponder on Weather coming at you with another update. In this update, we're going to be talking about a dynamic winter storm that's bringing blizzard conditions and some extreme winds. So before I do get started, if you do like weather-related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's get started here is your latest in watches and warnings map. And man, there was just a lot of color going on from high wind warnings all the way down from Texas to the Canadian border. I mean, this is a pretty dynamic system. Blizzard conditions happening right now and are gonna be extending all throughout the day in Iowa. Places like Southern uh, uh, Minnesota is uh, getting into those blizzard uh, light conditions. And then some of the, the extreme winds has just been incredible. I mean, we're talking 70, 80, 90 mile, even over 100 mile per hour gas. I think 125 the other day in Montana. That wind is just shifting east and a lot of 18 wheelers being blown over. It's just a very bumpy ride. Uh, this, the pressure gradient is crazy right now. And that's what's elevating the really extreme winds. And that is just pushing further south where they extended the high wind watches and warnings all the way down into Oklahoma, Arkansas, even down in down into Texas now. So they're going to be uh, getting into the action. So for blizzard, it, it doesn't really matter about the amount of snow. I mean, we're talking just the wind in itself. So to meet blizzard criteria, you've got to have 35 mile per hour. Uh, winds for at least three hours or more and then the visibility has got to be down to a quarter mile or less and they've seen that just relentless and just been pummeled overnight into uh, Iowa so it really doesn't actually matter about the uh, the amount of snow that actually falls because they didn't really get much snow back here in Montana and Wyoming but whatever was left on the ground back behind it that ground blizzard took effect and it was just sending whiteout conditions and, and just some very dangerous conditions to travel in uh, you can see the jet stream, the jet streak up above. I mean, this just, the gradient is incredible. I mean, look at the 143 high pressure out uh, west and a 992 low pressure. That is just extending the gradient, pulling down. I mean, we're talking 100, 150 mile per hour winds up above in the upper levels. And as they kind of filter down on the surface, yeah, they're modifying, but they're not modifying much. I mean, they're still picking up 100 mile per hour winds at the surface, 70, 80, 90 mile per hour, at, at least at times, 50, 60. I mean, even down into Texas yesterday, they had 50 plus mile per hour wind gusts. So, and that just extends even further south uh, today where they're gonna be picking up those higher winds where, you know, it's just pretty rare to see a high wind event from uh, Texas to, to the Canadian border. I mean, so a pretty dynamic system. If we can check, look at the latest of Vorticity uh, Index, you can see this vi very dynamic storm just over the heartland, uh, just inundating uh, Iowa right now with some, some heavier snows and some drifts and, you know, 40, 50 mile per hour winds and just sideways. I mean, I've seen videos that just sideways, not even hit the ground. I mean, just, just blowing sideways. I mean, just, the winds are blowing so hard. It's barely even trying to, you know, it can't even reach the ground. The, the wind's blowing so hard and that that'll shift, continue to shift east. So what's happening is that's today on Friday. That one system will shift off to the northeast and kind of move out. But there's actually a backside system that's going to be taking effect back behind it by uh, Monday. You can see this little bit. It's not as intense, but as this as this system shifts off to the northeast, uh, there's going to be a backside event that's going to be taking shape and just bringing in more snow uh, for the Ohio Valley as this continues pushing off uh, to the east going into uh, Tuesday. And then by the middle of next week, we'll really have to kind of start our, turn our attention all the way down here to like, say, the Baja of California, where we've got this very dynamic system that's going to be taking shape off the, off the southwest. And this will try to push through by midweek and kind of set the stage for our next week event. So we'll touch on that for a little bit at the end of the video. But right now, let's take a look under the hood, what's happening at the end of the surface. And we can see as of this morning, that low pressure is just kind of locked in over uh, Iowa right now, bringing those blizzard-like conditions. You can see the you can see the isobars. The tighter they are, the the higher the gradient. I mean, check out the check out the gradient, the differential between the high pressure and the low pressure. 
And that's where they're in the middle, where they meet in the middle. That's where they're picking up some of those extreme winds. And as, and as the jet streak tries tries to push south, that'll extend the the, the, the higher winds further south today. And that's why they started uh, to include Texas into the high wind event. Uh, now, even though it's going to be dry uh, for you guys, but you can see that snow line trying to push into uh, Missouri this morning. And as we go throughout the day, uh, that will just keep extending. So I do feel like places like Kansas City, you know, places like St. Louis, going in as even far south as uh, Springfield, going to pick up on the snow action today uh, with some probably, you know, one to three inch snow amounts is probably not out of the question, especially uh, just central and northern uh, Missouri. And you can see the low. I mean, this this as this digs for, tries to dig further south, it'll start to tap into some of that Gulf uh, moisture, and that'll and as this kind of swings off to the east, that'll pull in more the, more of the Gulf moisture from this uh, this system as this second that this backside low uh, will kind of shift off to the northeast. Uh, later on this weekend and as we kind of expand the view going into friday night into saturday you can see this initial low pushing back up so just a quick retreat like a horseshoe shape quick retreat going back into uh michigan going back into uh, uh canada by now but on the back side we are going to be picking up more snow for you guys in iowa you know minnesota i mean i'm minneapolis has been snowing all night long there i think that continues uh, up, up central and northern uh, Wisconsin is going to get in the action. Uh, I think Green Bay picks up maybe like four inches. And I do feel like the snow will be ending by the time uh, the Green Bay game football game starts at uh, Lambeau uh, for Saturday afternoon. I think the snow will actually end probably in the morning time sometime. And that, that snow will start to shift uh, further east as we go throughout the day on saturday so by saturday or for, you know friday night going into saturday morning that'll shift i mean so as this extends further south i mean yeah we're picking up some blue down here in tech tennessee but it's not going to be much i mean this is this is you're you're kind of caught in the middle here this system will come off this one particular system will swing off and kind of really amplify off uh the, the the northeast coast too bad there's not much cold air to work with or i mean this would be a major snowstorm uh, for the Northeast, it's going to be picking up some steam as we get further inland in the Northeast. But down on the South Side, it's going to be all rain event for you guys like in Boston, uh, the Long Island, New York City, Jersey. I know that's not what you want to hear, but that's what's coming. And uh, that's going to squeeze out any available moisture going into uh, places like uh, Montreal, places like Qu Quebec is going to get in the action. Montreal could pick up, say, say like say 10 inches uh, from this system as this low pressure swings back into Canada and really starts to deepen and amplify and tap it in some of the colder air from the Northwest. And as this continues, moving on to into Saturday afternoon, you can see that area low pressure just extending further north. I mean, look at this 992. So this would be a pretty, it's pretty ideal setup for a major snowstorm, but that's just not going to happen because there's not much colder air uh, to work with. But by the time we get into Canada, there is going to be some colder air to mix in with that other low that's going to be retreating further north, amplifying the snow event for you guys in southeastern Canada, uh, Ontario, places, you know, that, that nature. And as this extends, a lot of the a lot of the White Mountains up in Maine are going to be getting into in the ski country area is going to be hitting some of those double digit totals uh, for these snowfall totals on this event. But you can see kind of the backside as this moves across. I mean, is any available moisture that's going to be left is just kind of try to squeeze out. So these, yeah, this will add up to the snowfall totals over time. But you know, a quarter inch, half inch, maybe an inch there or two. So, you know, this will be sporadic and kind of adding up over the over the next several days. But places like Pittsburgh, you know, we're talking one, two inches uh, from this system. And this will continue off. And you can see the, the deeper blue starting to show up in the northeast, especially in the higher elevations. Yeah, I do feel like we're going to be picking up some pretty healthy totals, but it's going to be well inland. Uh, in the higher elevations, you know, eight to 12 inch swath is not out of the question in, in these uh, in these areas. Uh, but like I mentioned, that as that system kind of pulls across by by Monday, you know, it'll just kind of squeeze out any available uh, precipitation that's left. There is going to be another clipper system that's going to be trying to swing across uh, into my Montana as some colder air uh, starts to build by then into uh, Canada. 
But now let's take a look at some of the uh, snowfall totals from this particular snow event that's be coming up. It's happening right now. And these are just adding to those totals. So some of these some of these amounts have already seen some snow. So this would be some additional snowfall totals that are going to be uh, uh, you know falling over the next several days. This takes you through uh, Tuesday. You can see the snow extending all the way down uh, into uh, Missouri. I mean, like you know Springfield, one, one and a half inches. You know, so yeah. You know, a one to three inch swath in in Missouri is definitely not out of the question as this snow event starts to get to get its act together uh, later on this morning. It just kind of hangs around all day long and dumping some snow for you guys. So it should be a really nice snowfall uh, for, with one to three inches for a good chunk of Missouri. But out of the north, uh, you know, Michigan, yes, a four to four to eight inch snow band from central to northern, uh, you know, Wisconsin. This is Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin. And then as we extend through into Michigan, again, same scenario, um, four to six inches in central and northern Michigan. But on the south side, we're still going to be picking up some snow. I mean, we've kind of been in a kind of a donut here and to uh, Indiana and Ohio where they just really haven't seen much. So these are definitely going to be some adding to some totals, but you know, one to three, some two to four inch totals over the next several days, you know, as these little sporadic systems come through on the backside. And as we extend the view into the mid Atlantic, yeah, these are higher elevation snowfalls into uh, Virginia going into uh, West Virginia places like pittsburgh yeah two inches see over oh you know over time as this kind of pulls through but look as you extend towards the lake you might pick up into some of those lake effect snow blanks snow bands on the back side from this system but yeah back behind it a good you know two to four inch swath over the ohio valley and as you can see by the time we reach to the northeast this is just gonna be an all rain event for you guys along the coast the carolinas uh, Delaware, Rhode Island, you know, Boston, Massachusetts, Connecticut, uh, all, all those areas. And as we could extend the view, yeah, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, North, North New York, and the higher elevations, Montreal, nine, 10 inches of snow is not out of the question. Quebec, you know, probably, you know, four to six inches is, is not out of the question. Some of the sporadic higher elevation snow amounts uh, will pick up, you know, to eight to 12 inches. Uh, in isolated isolated spots but next week let's kind of touch on next week so this is the this is the initial setup that's actually going to be taking taking effect next week i took you through tuesday so by wednesday this is the middle of next week by by the 20th uh, this is the 500 millibar we're gonna be we're gonna be watching a very deep upper level trough that's going to be digging into the baja of california that is going to be tapping into a lot of this gulf moisture and going to be ejecting into the southern plains we do have a little clipper system that's going to be coming through the northeast again but this trough up here in the northwest that is going to be taking effect of some very uh, colder arctic air that's building going to be building up into uh, western canada by then it's been very cold in europe that's going to extend into start to start to intrude into uh, western canada and and by the 20th this trough will start to meet and as some of this cold air will send pulses you know kind of send pulses down as we go through the middle of next week this trough will try to extend uh into the southern plains as this trough can as kind of merges and we'll see how this uh, plays out but this is will be the the setup for the initial back half of next week going into next weekend for this part of the country so i'm watching these two systems as they kind of merge together and as more colder air kind of filters in uh, over time uh, this will probably increase uh, some of these snow amounts into these uh, areas of the country so that is something i'll be kind of watching for next week so i appreciate you guys uh, watching do like this video definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where i protect you before and after the storm.